Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've got sort of a, a bit more of a show and tell than an unboxing in the fact that I have picked these up from stores. So um, me, my husband and I are currently sort of off work for the week and um, doing jobs and stuff around the house. But we have on the odd occasion nipped out for breakfast in the morning. Um, and in turn, we have nipped to a couple of shops before they start getting crazy busy because the UK goes into lockdown tomorrow. So it's sort of get out now or you can't. <laughs> so I did pick up a couple of bits yesterday. Um, one of them are these Wham boxes or they're called Wham. Um, this was from The Range uh, and this cost a pound. And I have actually picked up two of these. Um, the purpose being that these will go, or these do sit inside my little rascal cart, holding just some of the bits and pieces that I can sometimes need to reach for when I'm diamond painting. So I've got some baggies, I've got a little white tray in case I need an extra tray. Um, I've got a pen, I've got some clips, um, and I've got a plug that I use for my tablet wire. And then in this one, I tend to keep scissors, a pair of tweezers, I've currently got two pens on the go, um, some washi tape, some wax, and then I do tend to put my tray in there as well. The tray's a bit bigger, but it's the first thing I grab out when I'm diamond painting. So it means that if I need any of the other items, I can just grab them. Um, and if you saw my craft room tour video, you would have seen my cart or my little mini rascog um, from Ikea. And these sit perfectly in the second tray and enable me to just grab what I want. On the go so that was one thing they were a pound each um, and they work rather well for me now the other thing is a little bit more expensive what I did want to sort of show what is available out there to pick up diamond painting wise from UK shops now the range apparently do some of the crystal art um, which is still diamond painting um, and it's still round ones I've ordered from the site directly myself but I couldn't actually find any in my store because it's sort of a new well it's a different craft it's like I don't quite haven't quite figured out in stores where they put it um, so this that I picked up from Hobbycraft was actually upstairs with the knitting and the cross stitch rather than downstairs where I'd thought it had been but I bit, did pick up this one and um, this one is classed as an advanced expert one they do have intermediate ones I don't quite know what the difference is to be honest unless it's just that there's more confetti um, and this one is a decorative pillow which is what made me think I'll give this a go Diamond Dots is by no means the cheapest um, this one this cushion worked out at £28, um, which as I say, is not cheap. Luckily, my daughter did give me her birthday voucher from Hobbycraft. Um, so I decided, okay, that makes it a bit cheaper. Let's just pick one up and see what they're like. So I've just cut open the box, let's see what we actually get with Diamond Dots. Now, I know Diamond Dots do also sell in, I think it's Joann's and Michael's in the States, so they are sort of worldwide, but they are definitely not the cheapest worldwide. Okay, so that is all that's in the box. I say, it does say that it is an advanced or expert diamond painter. I don't quite know how true that is but let's see if we can get in it okay so ooh. so it's safe it is a cushion before we look at the rest of it that actually does look like quite a nice pattern on the back it's not horrid um, it is a zipper it's a zipper to get in it this side is definitely a lot more rough um, let's have a look at what size it is 
find where my tape measure went. So size wise, I'm just looking again at the whole cushion is 43, 43 centimeters or about 17 inches. Is it the same the other way? I should hope so. Okay, it's nearer 45 the other way uh, and 17 and a half inches. So I might test um, a 45 by 45 cushion in this one, but to turn it round, this is the design. So it does say, okay, so the actual protective film is actually sewn into the cushion. So you can see here, while there's a little gap here, it is actually stitched in all the way round. So you would need to try and make sure that you removed, removed all of that before you could get to the cushion itself. So I'm going to start on this seam that's already come apart a bit. I can imagine I'm going to have to go in with a pair of scissors and neaten that up because otherwise I'm just going to have plastic on the edge of my cushion. Um, and this is the sticky part. So yeah, it is very sticky. It is only the dragonfly that you do. The rest is a background design. The actual cushion on the top is not as soft as on the back. It's not horrid though, considering it would be decorative anyway. But just to show you sort of the complexity, if it will focus. Um, so we do have Trying to see, I'm not sure if it's actually the light shining off that's not making it focus. So it is rather confetti, and that may be what they class as expert. And um, there's not a lot of blocking at all. So I say that's probably what makes them consider it to be an expert one is the confetti. But anybody can do this. Do not be put off by what they say should be expert. So let's have a look what else we get. So we do get an instruction sheet. So it does have, oh, it's a one big sheet. So we do have multiple languages, English, French, Spanish, um, German, Italian. Um, then I'm not as sure on the rest. I think that's Arabic. That's Russian. I'm guessing that's Polish. I'm actually not sure on the other two what TR and EL stand for. Um, but yeah, we do have multiple different languages. We do also have images. So it advises about pulling back the protective film. It's pre-printed pre with adhesive. Uh, identify the symbol, locate the symbol, um, about it being important to coat slash load the head of your stylus with wax, picking the colour, tipping it in a tray, etc, etc. Yeah, so that is basically a, a very detailed instructions, for, so for somebody that's beginning that's pretty good. Okay, and then to get in it, let's have a look so we actually get a little sheet it's not a sticker I don't think it doesn't seem to be a sticker I could be wrong it doesn't seem to be a sticker but um, as you can see they have what's called a diamond dots number so it is not the same as DMC so this is going to be entertaining um, but we have the diamond dot number of 8405 all the way down and we have 12 color 12 colors so we've got a1 a2 a3 so that's the list for this one so we have the grand sum of 12 colors oh we do have some AB though so before we have a look at what they send as a toolkit so this first one a405 actually looks like a very dark brown 
It may look black, and I did think it was black, but it's not. It's more like 3371, a very dark brown. Then we've got some more browns, as you would sort of expect. We've then got AB in white, which is quite nice. Especially if you're paying more for the kit, you like a little bit of AB. Um, we've then got some tan and some army green and some peachy colours. And then we've got two more green colours. So it's a very, very muted design. Um, diamonds look to be good quality, which I would expect. But they do look as though they're good quality. They are done by weight. Yeah, there's a couple of diamonds that have sort of spilled into the next bag, drifted away. But they all look to be good quality from what I can tell. And then for the toolkit, we have, we don't have any tweezers. Um, we do have some cheap baggies. How many of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so you nearly have enough to be able to store the diamonds that come in this because there's 12. Not quite, but nearly. Um, we have the equivalent of a white boat, but in gray. This is one of the smaller white boats. So there's two different sizes. There is only millimeters between the two, but this is the smaller one of the two. We then have a white pen. Um, no multi-placers. We have a foam squashy in orange for putting on your pen. And then we do have a diamond dots clear tub with a circle of wax in it. So you peel off the cover from that and it does have diamond DD, diamond dots on the top. And I know Hobbycraft do sell these toolkits on their own and they're like three pounds, something like that. Um, but yeah, not a, not a wow toolkit for the price that you pay, but not awful either. Um, yeah, 12 colours. Got myself a cushion cover. Most expensive cushion cover I have in the house probably. And I don't particularly have somewhere to put it, but I will definitely be doing it and give it a go. Because it would be nice to see what the quality of the diamonds are like when you're placing them and that is the only real way that you can find out the quality of the diamonds. Uh, you can sort of pull the plastic out from the seam but it's actually really hard if you've only got a small amount so I'll attack that with scissors later and do it carefully. But I thought I'd show you a couple of bits that I picked up. If you fancy to do yourself a diamond painting cushion, this is something that's a little bit different. And then a lovely little storage container. More my kind of pricing. This was a pound. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been enjoyable and a little bit different. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Mm -hmm.